In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to use a more advanced type of power generator uh, in order to generate a whole bunch more energy that we're going to need to drive our larger infrastructure. So in the last video, we went ahead and we started mining some of the oil shale to get our hands on more petroleum, and we issued a manufacturing order for a chemical power generator. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and use the item placement tool to drop our chemical power generator somewhere that's going to be on our machinery grid. I'm putting mine right here. Go ahead and let this run. Make sure that order priority is elevated so that it gets executed right away. And once our chemical power generator is deployed, we'll go ahead and set it up so that it starts consuming fuel and generating all the energy it needs. Now, one chemical power generator, again, the downside of this is that it takes fuel to run. So you've got to constantly be mining, you've got to constantly be stocking it with, uh, with the fuel that it needs, but it's going to get one of these is going to generate more power than a whole battery of solar generators or, or wind uh, plants. So we'll go ahead and click on the tile inspection tool in order to stock this with fuel, and then we'll click on our chemical power generator. You'll see a whole bunch of information here. Um, what we're going to want to click on, there's the view item details button, view generator info, and stock with fuel. If you view item details, like for any item that's deployed, it'll tell you what everything is made out of um, and give you some information about who manufactured it, the quality of the item, and so on. If you click view generator info, you can see all sorts of details about the power generator. So right now, there's no fuel that's present to burn, so it's not going to be able to produce any energy. There's no energy output. There's no fuel present. In order to remedy that, we're going to click the stock with fuel button here. When you click stock with fuel, this will bring up a list of all the different materials you have that can be consumed by this generator as fuel. In our case, we're going to want to use petroleum because it's got a higher chemical fuel rating than bituminous coal. You can burn coal here. It works very well also if you've got plenty of that. But I'm going to go ahead and issue in order to put all 120,000 units of petroleum that I have into this generator to use as fuel. I'll click OK. I'll let this run. And uh, one of our workers is going to go ahead and, uh, and stock it with fuel. And as soon as that is taken care of, once, we, once it's been stocked with fuel, we'll be able to click View Generator Info, and we'll see that uh, there will be an input present, and it will start producing energy um, immediately thereafter. I'm just taking a look at the orders that everybody is uh, working on right now. We're maintaining. We've got somebody who's manufacturing all of the water stations that we wanted to set up previously. This is the order to uh, transport the petroleum to where we want it to go. So I'm just going to elevate the order priority on that, getting it to our chemical generator. And so one of our workers should take care of that in short order. We can see here that it's been uh, deposited. We'll go ahead and click on our chemical fuel generator again. We'll say view generator info, and we can now see that there's plenty of fuel present for burn with a very high fuel rating, and in short order, this is going to start to produce energy. If you want to monitor the energy reserves at your colony's disposal as time goes by, you can go ahead and view the colony metrics via the information menu at the top. If you select energy reserves, you'll see that we were just barely generating enough energy, not really enough at all, to power our uh, manufacturing stations excuse me, and water vapor extraction stations, as soon as we started burning petroleum, oh yeah, we are totally in business. So we've now got our energy problems taken care of in the short term. We'll probably have to stock this with more fuel fairly soon, but we're on the right path, and now we're in good shape to expand our water production infrastructure.